Today I want to tell you about a deeply unconscious belief that most of us carry. And until it becomes conscious, until we become aware of it, it has a very, very powerful negative impact on our lives. So I want to tell you what that belief is today. So stay with me. Okay, I'm not going to drag this out. <laughs> the belief that I'm talking about today, and you know, when you hear this, it's, you're going to say, well, I don't think that's my belief. Well, the point is that this is an unconscious belief. Most of us don't, and we're not aware that we have this one. But really, it's the unconscious belief that I don't think I'm worth putting in consistent effort. I don't think I'm worth trying for. This is a very deep belief a lot of us carry in ourselves. And because we're unconscious, we're not even aware we have this belief. We go about our lives consciously trying to implement things. Maybe we're trying to have goals or maybe even the personal work we do on ourselves, you know, whether that be meditation or we're doing therapy or we're doing CBT or EFT or any of these tools and techniques we use for, for emotional well-being. And we, you know, we're trying to do it and we're finding, you know, I'm not doing it regularly. I'm not being consistent with it. And then because we're unconscious about this deep belief about I'm not even worth the effort, I'm not even worth trying to help. We come up with all these rational, like, rationalizations and it's like, well, you know, I didn't really have time to do that today. Or I, I got distracted from that for some reason. I think I must have ADHD or something. There must be something wrong with me. I, I'm losing focus too much. I need to be more, more focused. Really, for the most part, none of that stuff is true. What is true is that I haven't really examined, am I worth it? Do I deserve the energy and the commitment it's going to take for me to experience this change in my life? Now, what do we do with this? First of all, well, if we're, if we're going to accept that that unconscious belief is there, I mean, we have to admit first to start with here that that does kind of explain my inconsistent behavior. Consciously, I'm telling myself I want to do this thing, but my behavior is showing me, well, I'm not doing it. And maybe it's not because of these rationalizations about distraction and I don't have the time for it. But what do we do with this belief? Well, become conscious of it. It's there. And that's the question we need to sit with when we're talking about consistent effort towards whatever it is that we want, whether that be a goal externally or some kind of internal emotional issue you want to work through. And once we are aware that, okay, this is the, this is the belief that I've been carrying, well, now we know the right questions to ask. Well, I need to come to terms with the fact, do I believe that I'm worth the effort? If we can really look at and see, well, I haven't believed that, I haven't been thinking that for a long, long time. Now we're in self-empowerment. Now we know what we need to be focused on and working on. And to ask ourselves the question, what would it be like if I was worth it? Maybe I am worth the consistent effort to get this thing that I say I want. And we do want it. It's just that there's a belief there that says, mm, you don't deserve it. You're not good enough for that. So this is a very deep belief we have and again, the whole point of, like, there's not much point in me making videos telling you things you already know. I think that's pretty boring. And I want to kind of draw attention to kind of beliefs that are kind of unexamined. Things that we're, we haven't been aware of. But immediately we're into self-empowerment when we see, oh, I have been carrying this belief. Maybe I need to sit and resolve this question before I start to berate myself for not being consistent and whatever this thing is I'm doing. And bring a lot of compassion to it also, okay? It's like, okay, I, I must not feel right now that I'm worth doing this to. But I, I have typically found true compassion that when you become aware that this is maybe a belief that I'm carrying here, just by admitting that I'm holding this belief tends to have a very transformative influence in our lives. Again, it's because you'll see yourself in the contradictory behavior and rather than berating yourself for that, you're going to go deeper and you're going to realize this is an issue of self-worth. 
do I believe I'm worthy of the effort for this? And when we can answer yes to that question, any of the uh, behaviors or the goals we have, our behavior will become much more consistent around that. But we have to have a, a feeling of it in our body. We have to feel genuinely that we are worth it. One other, other thing you can add to this is, well, look, maybe I have been carrying this thing that I'm not worth the effort. How has that been working for me? Regardless of whether it's true or not, has this been a helpful belief for me to be carrying in my life? Or has it led to all sorts of contradictory behaviors and frustration for me? Just becoming aware that this is the issue we're working on is very, very powerful. So I just want you to maybe bring awareness to that. Maybe that's a belief that I've been carrying in my life. It's a very deep belief. Do some journaling around it. Do some questioning around it. Invite that part of yourself to come up so you can see it. So you can see its influence over your life. But it, you can't do anything with that belief until you become aware of it. It's sitting darkly. It's not been examined. It's kind of in the shadow. And what we need to do is just shed some light on it and come to terms with the fact that it isn't true. Of course, you're worth the effort. You're absolutely worth the effort. You don't even have to do anything to earn your worthiness for that effort. And um, when we can realize that, then our, our behavior starts to become a lot more consistent. So I hope that was a useful video, guys. Do some work on that yourself, maybe. And um, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.